and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to take a look at the Logitech G403. I did a giveaway for this recently. Congratulations to Owen. If you want to see the link to that, I'll put in the link in the description who won this giveaway. It's a little bit hot in the UK at the minute. It's about 33 degrees in this room, so I'm a little bit toasty. I definitely need some air conditioning. If you're not keeping up to date with what I do on these Tech Tuesdays, I look at gaming peripherals and I go through the pros and cons, as well as other technologies. If you want me to take a look at something, put it in the comments, and I certainly will. I know some of you have asked for some more budget-orientated gaming gear, and I've been working with Real Internet Idea to bring you some of those, and in the next few weeks, I will certainly do that, as well as some further giveaways of their products. So hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with that. So this mouse is an optical sensor at 1200 DPI, got 4G acceleration, and it's 300 IPS. I'm going to go for the full tech specs because you can read these online, but it comes in at around £43 UK or six to nine US dollars on the Logitech site at the minute. And I wasn't really expecting too much from the 403. A few people have said, Bob, check out the 403 Love from Logitech. It's a really good mouse. And I've always been a bit like, mm, OK, I'll have a look at it. So today we're going to do that. I'm also going to do the Logitech G305 as well. So again, keep your eye out for that. So the mouse itself is a really nice shape. It fits really well in your hand and I was initially off the start very impressed. It's got a really nice soft touch plastic and it's got these little rubber pieces on the side that I am really liking. They're very subtle, you can't quite tell they're there because they're all the whole side piece, which is unusual. And they blend in really well to the mouse to keep it with this kind of matte black finish. The side buttons on it are awesome. I really like them, they're a good size, they're easy to press and they're in really good reach of your thumb, which a lot of mice seem to have this issue where you can't get to them, but this one has nailed that down to the T. RGB lighting, you've got RGB on the back here with the G itself, and you also have it within like the in-between of the scroll wheel. It's not overly RGB lit, which is, I guess, good or bad, depending on your setup. You've got a DPI button on the top here that you can also reassign, and then you've got the left and right standard mouse buttons. And to me, these all feel great. One of the first things I noticed when I picked up the 403 was how good the left and right mouse button feel. To me, they are really good weight. You've got a nice little curve in them for your finger to sit in. So you fit really comfortably within your hand. The whole mouse itself is a really nice shape for my hand. I'll put the specification of my hand up here. The other really impressive thing about the 403 here is a scroll wheel. I think it could be the best scroll wheel I've ever tried. It's got a slight notch in it, but it's really easy to move around. It's got one of the best rubber surfaces I've used with a little slight indentation to get good grip. It doesn't have the freewheeling one that some of the Logitech mice come with, but and this is better. The 502 had that kind of version and my 903 has it, where you can freewheel the scroll wheel and I don't use that, I use the notched version. And I wish my 903 had this scroll wheel. On the base of the mouse, it's quite simple. You've got two horseshoe pads and one in the center where the optics is. You've also got the panel here that you can detach to add in an additional 10 grams of weight. I currently don't run that, I like it as light as it is, which comes in 87.3 grams. So let's wait and see. On top of the 87 grams, you can also add an additional weight weight here, so you can give it up to 97 grams, according to the specification of Logitech. This mouse comes in at a length of 124 millimeters by a width of 68 millimeters at the front generally because the rear is a little bit more narrow and it's a depth of 43 millimeters. So it's around the size of a standard mouse. It's not too big, it's not too small. Like I said, I think it fits really nicely in your hand. It's a very similar shape to the Razer Death Adder, if not probably slightly better shaped. Other than that, the mouse is quite basic. It's got a two meter braided cable. And the only real gripe I've got with this mouse, because if you've been watching my videos, I tend to try and find anything I can about them. The Logitech software is good. The only gripe I can find is the braided cable itself is rather thick and it can be slightly inflexible. It does feel like you get quite a lot of drag on the cable, which would be one of my concerns with this mouse. In general, day-to-day -day work, you don't generally notice it. On a gaming side of things, you probably would, because I think the cable is quite heavy, and you're worth getting a bungee, especially if you're using something like a Firefly or a Power Play or the MM800 from Corsair, the knots in the middle, it's definitely gonna get in your way. So if you're using a smooth mouse mount, you'll be fine, but again, I'll probably get a bungee just because I think this cord is quite heavy. You could do the power cord mod on it and try and lighten it. That's really my only concern with this. It's a decent length. I like the finish on the mouse. Overall, I love this mouse. I think it's very good. Hope you've liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see some more reviews, hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you want to see. Until next time, thanks a lot. Catch you again. See you later. Bye-bye.